It was appalling, really, to see the U.S. government behave in the way that they did at the Basel Convention last week, especially knowing that they're not a party to the convention, and yet they tried to thwart efforts to establish plastics waste under the Basel Convention because they have a vested interest. The U.S. is the world's largest exporter of plastics, mostly to developing nations, and this has created a global crisis of waste in countries in South and Central Asia, as well as South America and Africa. The the problem of plastics in the ocean is just immense. I mean, the plastics in the Pacific Ocean are just a huge mass of hundreds of thousands of uh, acres of, of plastics in a huge plastic dump in the Pacific Ocean. So it's, it's an immense problem. And it's not just a physical threat in the marine environment, but as these plastics break up, um, certainly, we've all seen the images of how plastics can, can choke sea life, such as sea turtles and marine mammals and birds. But as these plastics break up, they create an even more insidious problem. They become microplastics, which then can be ingested by marine animals, such as fish, marine mammals, and others, which then pose a threat to human health because these, these plastics at sea not only contain toxic additives in themselves, but when they're at sea, they absorb persistent pollutants such as PCBs, flame retardant chemicals such as PBDEs. These are highly persistent toxics, and these plastics simply continue to absorb these toxic chemicals. Then when they're ingested by marine life, these toxics are conveyed into the bodies of these animals, which then create a problem for human health because we rely on fish and other marine life as a source of food. And how so it's a very serious, not only physical and unsightly problem in the marine environment, but it's also a toxic problem that, that we really have to solve by stopping the production of plastic upstream. The, the production of plastic relies on fossil fuels and ultimately, this is also a contributor to climate change. So the entire cycle of plastics production, waste disposal and use is really a toxic hazard.